You know, I, I consider I consider us a rock and roll band, and uh, you know, if 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 we can if if we can sell more records or have more people come see us by attaching some other title to it, I'm I guess I'm okay with that. I mean, I you know I like I like my peers as far as the other bands that are get called that. Uh, it's on the on, funny thing about the Americana thing. When we first started the drive by truckers was kind of the dawning of that era, you know, it was like no depression magazine was yeah. kind of a hot new thing. And, uh, uncle Tupelo had, had broken up and splintered into Wilco and Sunvolt, And they were kind of in Steve Earl was, you know, kind of at his, at his peak, you know, as far as being really kind of famous, as about as famous as he ever got and Lucinda Williams put out car wheels on a gravel road and all that was happening just as we were really starting the drive by truckers. And so it made sense to me. It's like, oh, okay, we're, we'll kind of ride that train, you know, but, but we weren't necessarily welcomed on that train initially. We were kind of, we were a little too, little too uh, belligerent and a uh, little too punk rock, little, little too this, a little too that. And, um, and for a long time, a lot of the Americana purists kind of looked down their nose at what we did because we were too rowdy and, and uh, uh, un undisciplined, I guess, in their opinion. And, um, you know, and, and time, as time goes on, things end up fitting better. I mean, you know, we, we've been nominated for awards for the Americana Music Awards, and we won one year, and uh, we've, uh, you know, and so so it's all, but we were always kind of a little bit kept at a distance from that. And of course, after Southern Rock Opera, which is the record that kind of made us uh, as famous as we ever got, you know, was was when that record came out. Then a lot of people wanted to call us Southern Rock, and and I cringed at that because I don't really consider us that either. You know, we made a record about that, but that's not really we're a rock and roll band. Rock and roll was born in the South, so you know, it's it's it, it doesn't it to me it was always a little bit weird calling it Southern Rock. I mean, I, I think of Southern Rock as the, you know, beginning with the Allman Brothers and ending with Leonard Skinner and everything after that. I don't know. It, it was, a you know, I don't really consider us that. But. It's weird how we use these genre terms. Yeah. Sometimes they can enlighten us and sometimes they can like be really limiting. Right. And all the cool stuff is the stuff that happens in the cracks. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, our band, we've, we've made at least three albums that I consider an attempt at power pop. I love power pop. And, and uh, our keyboard player, Jay Gonzalez, is, is like an encyclopedia about that genre of music. And uh, uh, he's a master at it. And, uh, you know, we've done three records that I, I consider power pop, but no one ever calls us a power pop band, which is prop. Which probably says we who, don't do it good. Who is who is a power pop band? I mean, I think of like Big Star is like the ultimate power pop band. You know, all the all the bands that kind of continued on with the melodic thing that the Beatles were doing, but maybe applied a little more. You know, I mean, you know, some of REM stuff could qualify in that, and uh, uh, the Replacements, if they had tuned their guitars better, would probably have been called a power pop band. The Westerberg songwriting was certainly power pop, but they were more punk, I guess, in their approach to 